Hi, this is Raphael Freeman from Running Our Typesetting. About a year ago, I posted a video on how to bring in text from Microsoft Word into Adobe InDesign without losing local formatting. Uh, the methodology was very robust, but I had a couple of problems. One, it doesn't work if you're using Word on a Mac. And secondly, it's quite a slow process. Um, so I wanted to come up with a better method. And this is the math macro, which I'm happy to send you if you're interested. Um, this is the macro, you just basically do copy and paste. Uh, there's two macros. One is called make styles, and the second one is called apply styles. And apply styles has to be run twice, uh, once in the main text, and secondly in footnotes. Let me first, though, uh, run make styles. Now, it takes a little bit of time to run, so I'm actually going to pause the video whilst it's running it, so you don't have to be um, bored. So here we go. Let's do... Uh, run okay so as you can see here it's creating a whole bunch of styles i want to spend a second or two understanding what they've done um, it creates uh, an all cap style and all caps double strike through uh, bold bold all caps bold italic text uh, every single permutation you can think of well all it's done is though it's created the styles that hasn't applied any of them now for the purpose of showing this in action, you don't have to do any of this, by the way, you can just run it straight away without thinking. I'm going to now make the italic text um, uh, red. So let's go over here, this body italic. Now we have all the character styles created. We can actually change the settings just to show um, the character styles being in use. Okay, so of course we haven't applied IT text, so it's not in use yet. So now we're going to run the script, okay? And this is called apply style, okay? And we're just going to do run. Now it's a little bit quicker, although it is doing it on an entire book. So it does take a few seconds. And as you can see, all the italics now um, have been applied. But if I just remind you, except for footnotes, so. Once this is finished, we will go and now find some footnote area. And we just don't actually have to be in the specific footnote that has any italics. We just have to make sure that we are in um, a footnote. So I'm just scrolling down to try and find a footnote. Here we found a footnote, and I'm going to run the script again. I actually have a shortcut on my stream deck that does it. Okay, that's all you need to do. So we open up Word, we run make styles, we run, then we run apply style twice, and that's all we need to do. So let's now uh, save save this file. Uh, we're going to call this uh, Fred, it's a very meaningful name, and we're now going to jump into Adobe InDesign. Now, very important to note that this, um, this file is all the paragraph styles and character styles already exist in the file. Um, this is a file that I use multiple times for each of the books that the client's using. Uh, and I already have a style mapping that's all done when that's not what we're trying to demonstrate here. So we're going to import the text. We'll take a few seconds. Now, when we're importing the text though, we're going to have lots of superfluous local formatting that we don't want. Uh, but all the local formatting that we do want, the bold, the italics, that's going to remain in the text. And any weird stuff like strange spacing, etc., we're going to get rid of. So we can highlight all the text. We can get rid of all local formatting. Okay. Um, and in order to do that, the footnotes, we're just going to have to do a little search and replace. Search footnote text for footnote text. And that's it. You've done it. The book whole thing's finished. Okay. If we go over here, you can see now there's an IT text, body, IT text. Now, there's one little problem, there are two little problems, but we're going to still with one of them for this video. Um, and that is that we're going to have this introduction here, uh, which is prelim ending matter, but it also has a local character, sorry, a character style, not a local character style, a character style apl applied. We don't want this bold character style. So how do we do get rid of this? Well, we could go ahead and... Uh, Search and replace, search for character style bold, replace with go here and then go and do none and then do a search and replace and it would get rid of it. So I have a little script which you're welcome to have. Um, I call it nuke and I, it does that, it does that search and replace. See now it's got no bold. So I can go through my document, 
find any incorrect thing. For example, BDAC, bold, all caps, I don't need that here. Okay, it's gone. And get rid of all my local formatting. Part one, this is, uh, it, it says it's later bold, but actually, if I look at the paragraph style, uh, it's actually heavy. And that's because this BDAC character style is ruining it. We nuke it, and now it's the right style. Okay, go in and you can see it's now heavy. Okay, uh, so just have to quickly go through my document, get rid of the um, new call the styles that don't need to be there. Uh, we are left with a document that obviously needs work. It needs uh, type setting, it needs to put all the right styles, but I can very quickly, uh, I, I, I've retained all my character styles. I haven't lost anything. All the bolds, italics, etc. Um, have you maintained and that's it that's the whole thing so i hope you've enjoyed this video and if you found it useful then you know what to do press the like button and um, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this um, if you've got questions throw them into comments there are three pieces to make this work the first is two pieces two macros make style apply style and sorry make style and apply style in microsoft word and finally a little script called the nuke script um, uh, if you want those, then just let me know. More than happy to send them to you. So until the next time, this has been Raphael Freeman from Renata Typesetting.